Hello, George B back again. Today I'd like to show you how I made this card. I made this card using the stamp set Tasteful Touches just for that flower. Um, the leaves have come out of retired set Beautiful Romance and just them leaves which I stamped and die cut out. And I've done that already because I did loads when I made this card. Way too many. And I have this many left over. So I'll use them on this card. Hopefully it'll be enough. The sentiment has come from many messages. And I've got another one here. Um, what else is there? That's it. Card wise, I've got a white card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, folded in half. I have a black, uh, basic black cardstock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have some DSP, which is called, I have no glue. No, it's not called that. It is called. It's actually in the hostess set at the back of the book. And if you spend party oh pattern party twelve by twelve DSP. Yeah, if you spend the appropriate amount, you can get this. I think it was seventeen ninety nine for forty odd sheets of twelve by twelve. And that is what's on the end, other side. I think that's misty moonlight. I like this checkered one. And I've got a scrap for the flowers which we've got to stamp. So to get started, first of all I'm going to stick all this together. Stick this onto the basic black. And then we're going to stick this onto our card base. It's not on very well. It's stuck down now. Right. We need to cut out, stamp and cut out our flower. Now this is Magenta Madness. And we're going to stamp two flowers. Just like that. And then we're going to cut them out by hand. Let me put my lid on my glue. So I am leaving a white edge. Even though it's a bit hit and miss. So actually there was no dyes to go with this flower. They bought out um label dyes instead. one doesn't take long to cut out it's 
So if you don't mind cutting out, I don't mind cutting out by hand. I would prefer dies. Hey ho. Just go with what you got. Seems to be bringing out a lot of flowers that actually need colouring in. Which is a bit of a pain. Right, there's the second one. And believe it or not, that is it. Unless, of course, you're going to do all the leaves. But like I said, I've already done my leaves. So this one is going to be glued down, and this one's going to have dimensionals. And then we will place these leaves two at a time in position somewhere or around the flower. So let's get started. Wherever we place this first one determines where the setting's going to be. So that one's there. And I've just glued that all the way around, which I shouldn't have done. So we're going to have trouble getting these leaves under. That's all right. Oh no, not too bad. Right, we're going to go two together. So two there. And two at the bottom here. Got one left over. Should I use it? Might as well put that there. And our thank you for being you will just sit there. We need a dimensional on that. Just on the end. And a spot of glue. And I'm going to put that there. Now some gems, um, I have got these grey ones, or silver ones, grey, so I'm going to use these, uh, I think I put five on, so we're going to have one, two, three, four, five. Don't want to go on. Where did I put this on oh, there? Finding the glue spots, that's what it is. Mm 
and one more there. I don't stand out them, but they're there. Give a bit of dimension to the card. On the inside, oh, I just put a piece of card on the inside. So whoever's thanking somebody for whatever it is they're thanking them for. And I've noticed this card has got a had a bit sticking out there. And that is my card. Quick and easy card. Only because I had the stuff done. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my cards, please subscribe. And if you press the bell icon, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload. Which is usually on Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.